Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Secrets Under Rome The Santa Priscilla Catacombs is a mysterious underground labyrinth of ancient burial chambers that can be found beneath the streets of Rome, and many don't even know it exists. Professional archaeologists began to investigate the catacombs at the end of the 19th century. They were initially hoping to find treasure, but instead found a total disaster. The marble sarcophagi that had once held bodies of Romans were shattered into pieces. Beautiful mosaics had been torn right off the walls, altars dismantled, and entire skeletons were found with their bones ripped apart. This plundering had been carried out 200 years earlier, and guess who ordered the catacombs to be destroyed? It was the Vatican! In the middle of the 17th century, Pope Innocent X sent tomb raiders down into the depths of the catacombs for either one of two reasons. Some say the Pope had either been searching for lost treasure or had purposely ordered the cemeteries to be destroyed because the church believed they were cursed. Historians can't agree on which was correct. But here's what makes this story so much more interesting. There is a part of the catacombs called the Capella Greca. It's a Greek chapel with faded frescoes on the wall featuring women instead of men. Almost nowhere else in the ancient world can so many frescoes be seen showing women apparently leading a religious mass, in other words, acting as priests. While most of the chapel has been destroyed, many of these female priests can still be seen faded on the walls of these hidden catacombs. Most experts believe it was the Vatican who ordered the whole place destroyed to keep this part of history a secret. Giorgio Otranto, professor of ancient Christian history, says that women did serve as priests in the early days and it was fairly widespread. Papal letters, ancient writings, and inscriptions on burial vaults like the ones in the catacombs of Rome prove that women were serving as priestesses. However, the church then decided that it would be forbidden and tried to stamp out all evidence that this ever happened. Number 9. Nushabad Underground City the Nushabad underground city was a very advanced subterranean metropolis that was used 1,500 years ago. The below-ground city is three stories and was once used by the ancient Persians to seek refuge in times of war. The city is sprawled underneath the city above ground with the same name, which can get kind of confusing. Despite its immense scale and long history, nobody even knew about this place until about 10 years ago. That was when a man broke through one of the walls of the ancient city while he was digging a sewage ditch. Archaeologists arrived to map the enormous underground city. It's about 60 feet deep, and there's tunnels, chambers, staircases, and even booby traps. This is now considered one of the greatest marvels in ancient engineering. It was almost like a hotel with hallways and rooms with their own water pipes, storage spaces, and even toilets. It's believed that construction began during the Neo-Persian Empire, sometime between 224 and 651. The secret city likely began as a spattering of underground chambers where women, children, and elderly people could hide whenever the city was attacked. But as these chambers grew larger and water pipes and air ducts were installed, it became a real city that was fully sustainable. It's hard to say when exactly it was abandoned, but it may have been used up until the 20th century. Parts of the city are actually open to tourists, so you can go visit for yourself. Number 8. Elmina Castle the town of Elmina, located on the coast of Ghana, has a dark secret. The secret is held inside Elmina Castle, a massive structure built during medieval times. It's actually still the biggest European building ever built in tropical Africa. It's a picturesque place and looks like a resort on the edge of a sandy beach surrounded by tropical palm trees. But don't let that fool you. Elmina Castle was the last place thousands of native Africans saw their homeland before they were put in slave ships, never to return. The terrifying truth is that Elmina and the surrounding area had about 30 slave forts, built all along the coast by Europeans who came to sub-Saharan Africa in the 15th century to get slaves. This was a place of torture and death. The Portuguese, English, Swedish, Dutch, and Danish built these forts from between 1482 and 1786. The original purpose of the castle was to be an outpost, a place where ship captains could anchor their vessels in a secure harbor. This was a time of piracy, and when the European empires often attacked each other on the high seas. The best defense was to hide near a fortress 
that could shoot at any potential pirates using cannons. At first, the whole region was home to the gold trade. It wasn't until around 1637, after the Dutch conquered the castle, that it became used as a base for the slave trade. The Dutch used this castle as a kind of loading yard for human cargo, which they then shipped to the Americas through the Caribbean. About 30,000 slaves a year passed through Elmina Castle up until 1814, when the Dutch abolished the trade. Number 7. The Lost Civilization of China 5,300 years ago, a mysterious civilization appeared seemingly out of nowhere in eastern China. They built settlements that were highly advanced for the time, great shining cities the likes of which had never been seen throughout the world. The Liangshu culture first appeared along the banks of the Yangtze River Delta. Researchers believe their greatest city of them all was Liangshu City, built during the Stone Age. Its ruins are still there today beside the river, although they've been horribly eroded by time and the elements. Archaeologists have found evidence of extreme technological advancements, inventions of agriculture and aquaculture, and signs of a complex social society. In fact, researchers have called this mysterious city the Neolithic Venice of the East because some of their architectural features seem to support hydraulic engineering. Things like canals, water reservoirs, and dams used to keep the food growing and the population booming. Here's where things get really strange. For about 1,000 years, the culture progressed with miraculous speed. Then, around 4,300 years ago, this city was abandoned overnight, and nobody knows why. Of course, there are theories. Geologist Christoph Spottel from the University of Innsbruck says it could have had something to do with a great flood. A thin layer of clay was found preserved over over the ruins, which means the flood may have been so bad that the city and its people were completely buried in a thick layer of muck. Number 6. Ancient Ukrainian Pyramid Archaeologists recently unearthed something in Ukraine that's a little unbelievable. They found the remains of an ancient pyramid that predates the Egyptian pyramids by at least 300 years. This mysterious pyramid was found near the city of Lugansk in the east. According to the head of excavations, Viktor Klochko, this is the first evidence of any kind of pyramid monument in Eastern Europe, and it could actually change the current understanding of social structures in this part of Europe, and what we thought we knew about the development of farmers and cattle herders into complex societies. Based on the evidence at the site, the pyramid was built 5,000 years ago during the Bronze Age by an early cult of sun worshippers. The pyramid was part of a larger complex, a kind of religious city focused on worshipping the sun. There were temples, altars for sacrifices, and homes for the people who live nearby. Archaeologists have even found the graves of the sacrifice victims. What made this particular cult so horrifying is that they didn't simply cut their victim's throat, they burned them alive. We don't know how many more of these ancient religious cities might be around, but considering this pagan cult was in operation for about 2,000 years, there could be lots of them. It's just that they've all been destroyed or their ruins are buried under modern city streets. Number 5. The Erotic Art of Pompeii There is a rather unusual secret in the ancient Roman city of Pompeii that not many people know about. It's not a building or a temple or a cave. The secret is that for some unknown reason, there is an obscene amount of erotic art scattered throughout Pompeii. Once you start looking around, you can see it's everywhere. Pompeii was a Roman city built in the shadow of the great Mount Vesuvius. When it erupted in the year 79, it blanketed the city in hot ash and killed pretty much everything. The entire city, as well as its dead residents, were then trapped in stone. In the 19th century, archaeologists started excavating Pompeii. Almost immediately, they started finding erotic examples of artwork. Couples in the midst of copulation, nude sculptures, and images of gods with some rather gratuitous body parts. Since this kind of thing was considered shameful at the time of the discoveries, most of it was swept under the rug and kept from the general public. It wasn't until 2000 that many of these images and statues were finally revealed. Otherwise, it was too scandalous. What historians want to know is why the Romans were so obsessed with the erotic. It's almost like half of their artwork involved adult themes. According to expert Maria Luisa Catoni, the answer isn't that complicated. 
She says that Pompey's lewd obsession wasn't considered lewd in the Roman world. Before Christianity, these kinds of things were normal. In fact, people even celebrated the naked body and eroticism, rather than try to suppress it. Number 4. The Secret Excavation of Jerusalem one of the strangest digs in history was the secret excavation of Jerusalem. It all started in 1909, when the British aristocrat Montague Brownlow Parker put together a team of other scholarly types who had no training in archaeology at all. They went to Jerusalem at a time when the Ottoman Empire was still in control of the region. What they were hoping to find was the famous Ark of the Covenant, or King Solomon's treasure, from 3,000 years ago. Parker paid 500 British pounds, which equals about $80,000 in today's money, and made a secret deal with Ottoman officials to split whatever loot he found. They first arrived in the Palestinian port of Jaffa, but were slightly delayed because of outbreak of the plague. Finally, they made it to Jerusalem. Their intention was to dig on the slope of Temple Mount, a place where no archaeological digging is allowed. This is a holy site for Jews, Christians, and Muslims. But it's been managed by the Muslim community ever since the days of the Crusades. For nearly 800 years, no one had been allowed to mess around with the Temple Mount. But these aristocrats managed to bribe their way in, get rid of the guards, and dig passages underneath for nine days straight. Still, they couldn't find the Ark of the Covenant. They finally went into an even holier place, a cave called the Mosque of Omar, near where Muhammad supposedly ascended to heaven. But as they were digging, they created too much noise, and the locals were alerted to what was happening. A mob gathered and the foreigners were forced to flee for their lives, and that concluded their dig. To this day, we still don't know if the Ark is buried under Temple Mount. Number 3. The Skyscrapers of Sana'a Sana'a is the largest city in modern Yemen and one of the highest capital cities in the world, at an elevation of 7,500 feet. While the new city might be a modern metropolis, the old city of Sana'a is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's most famous for its towering skyscrapers, incredibly tall buildings that were made thousands of years ago, at a time when most civilizations were building huts and single-story buildings out of rock. These soaring constructions are unlike anything found elsewhere in the ancient world. UNESCO says they were most likely built beginning in the 8th century, although the actual dating has proved next to impossible. Because the structures were built from mud brick, they have needed to be constantly renovated as time goes on. This has made any actual dating extremely difficult. However, medieval texts do say that the Great Gumdam Palace was built in the 3rd century BC and was 20 stories tall. That means that 2,300 years ago, the seat of Yemen's ancient rulers was literally in a skyscraper. Number 2. Secret Neighborhood Beneath Athens A secret neighborhood has been discovered underneath the Acropolis in Athens. This mysterious neighborhood was built long before the Parthenon ever stood on the Acropolis Hill. It was most likely part of the original human settlement in what became Athens way back around 3500 BC. This was when the settlement really started to grow, with everything from workshops to houses and even cemeteries coexisting. This area probably started being used as a residential neighborhood much later around the 8th century BC, up until the 5th century BC. In the 5th century, something drastic happened. The area was paved over and integrated into the walled city of Athens. We don't know what happened to the people who lived here, if they left peacefully or were forced out of their homes. Whatever the case was, the entire area was covered up and erased. Not many years later, the Parthenon and the other grandiose buildings of the Acropolis were built on top. Number 1. The Secret Ancient City of Syedra The ancient city of Syedra in Turkey dates back to the 3rd century BC, and even though the town stayed alive until the 13th century, its most glorious time came around in 200 AD, when walls were built around it. They had clean water, ancient temples, great workshops, and even a mysterious cave where Christians performed baptisms in the early days of their religion. Even after all these years, many of the original buildings still survive. Examples of ancient Roman and Byzantine architecture that have weathered the centuries, thanks to 
expert building techniques on behalf of the residents. But what's even more intriguing is that there is an even more ancient city hiding underneath this one. In 2020, archaeologists uncovered ceramics dating way back to the 9th century BC. That's the Iron Age. These artifacts suggest there was a city here even before the Romans arrived and paved over it with their own city streets. Thanks for watching! Which mysterious city of the ancient world fascinates you the most? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you later! Bye!